for much of my life I have experienced profound misery, and I have been diagnosed with chronic depression as well as chronic anxiety. And more than one professional has diagnosed me with PTSD from infancy. So naturally, I looked high and low for some relief, for some methods to rid me of this very uh, constant and rather heavy suffering. And I must say, some things that I found were quite helpful, some less so. They were mostly uh, psychological or spiritual um, modes. And uh, the main thing that they had in common was that they all stopped working at some point. And uh, once when I was at a workshop, it was in 2007, um, when I met someone at a workshop, and she told me about John Sherman, and she extolled his praises, and she suggested that I go and look up his website and listen to his podcasts. And I was indeed very taken by him. Uh, immediately, and I saw his laser-sharp clarity. I saw his profound humanity and his no-nonsense empathy, and felt that he was able to voice this basic, universal human experience that was so painful and... Um, and, as I say, universal. Something about the world not being okay as it was. Some basic, basic dissatisfaction about life. And he was able to put into words my experience in a way that I never could. And uh, the truth is, I loved what he said, but I did not understand what he meant by look at yourself or get a taste of yourself. And uh, so I eventually ended up abandoning this whole project. The first time I got a conscious glimpse of myself was uh, serendipitous. I was actually doing another exercise, and just suddenly I noticed that I was face to face with myself, and I was so taken by that. I, I, I. It's like the world stopped, and I thought to myself, wow, I can't believe that just happened. And um, immediately I thought, "This, I have to do this again. How am I going to make this happen again? I must get another glimpse. And I was having these thoughts of maybe stopping everything, <clears throat> quitting my job, running off to India. I started searching the Internet, trying to figure out what to do. And then after about a week, I remembered, oh, John Sherman, that's what he was talking about. That was about a year and a half after the first time I tried to look. So thank goodness that happened. Uh, so I was able to go back and listen to John and his podcast and get some good tips on how to make that happen again. And um, it happened again very soon after I came back. Um, to listening to these podcasts, and um, also the the fruits um, appeared very shortly. I would say maybe two weeks after I got my second glimpse, and um, I kept looking and looking and loving this looking and uh, feeling lighter and lighter, and just the sense of okayness with the world and um, with myself. And uh, in about six months, I hit my first depression during this recovery period, and it really, really jolted me. And uh, I was alarmed because I thought, well, maybe this is another one of these methods that just has a, a shelf life of, you know, a year, two years, maybe even five years, but it has a shelf life. And I wrote John, he wrote me back, and I certainly could not stop listening to the podcasts. It was just, um, I was hooked. <laughs> and I was hooked on the looking. Even if I felt that I was not looking enough, I 
always came back to the looking, and I tried and tried quite hard to get a good look at myself. And um, that was, oh, about, uh, well, three and a half years ago was when I started this regular looking. And maybe about a year, six months ago, I really have stopped looking um, with that same intense uh, intention. And um, sometimes I do look, and it just it's very relaxed and very enjoyable and very natural. Um, and uh, as I look back, you know, if I look as objectively and as um, closely as possible, what I do find is that I still have plenty of fear, lots and lots and lots of fear. However, this basic fear of fear is it has not been manifesting for quite some time. Um, another thing is that I feel that the search is over in that I'm just, I'm not interested in searching. Um, I'm not excited about searching. Um, I'm excited about being here and seeing what happens next. I'm excited about uh, how things evolve and how I will, what my part will be in this evolution of things. Um, I do feel that the world is a bit less hostile than I used to. What I really absolutely love about um, the, the results of this looking is that I find that I uh, take sides less and less, and I find that I can contradict myself uh, in two minutes and feel totally fine about that because there's nothing that I'm beholden to. It's just being here. And... Um, it's an adventure.